Why, hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. I am your host, Amazing Red Zero Nine. As per usual, and this is my horse, Agro. And welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. As I said before, in the last episode, we arrived at Damas to try and find our first victim. Sorry, assassination target. Let's get to it. Right, this is the first instance of saving citizens. As you, all right, all right, all right. I'll explain as I do it. All right. As you walk through the city, you will encounter civilians that need to be saved, like this man. That's right. I don't have the uh, um, counter attack yet. Die. So as you go through the city, you will encounter civilians that need your help. I'll pause to say I'll pause to say this. You will encounter civilians that need your help. Now it is completely optional and the only reason to do it is I guess for achievements. But you go through the city and save different civilians and there's no real reward for it, it's kinda of just something to do. You just go after you've Save them, go up to and target them. The last of and them. now, oh, too close. So. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Say, so they're generally kind of pointless because they don't help. But yeah, so I'll probably most, I'll be mostly completely ignoring them. Um, now these are is the first example of scholars. Now these can be used to walk around uh, the city or get into sneak into places completely undetected. These are very useful and oddly aren't in the last next game I don't think. Now you need to get inside here and hold the A button to be in um, low profile mode. So you hold your hands together like you a um, scholar I guess. Um, you don't have to move, you just hold the A button and you will move with the crowd. I believe this also works with crowds of people. Because if we try and get into the city without doing this, then we will be detected. Now if you look in some cities, if you look over there, there is other ways to get out in, but this is the way the game wants us to do it. In most cities, there will be like scaffolding above, just like sort of like this one, where you can um, get in without detection. Let's get all the way in the city, and um, we should be good then. Okay, we are now good. Now we're inside. Now we're inside the city. Let's look. Look at our map. Our first thing we need to do when we enter a new city or district is to find the nearest viewpoint, which is this. So. Let's head to that viewpoint, which is just not far from here at all. Uh, like I said in the last episode, viewpoints are used to get your bearings on a new plat on a new city or a new a new area of the, of the game. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have quite a dry throat today. Help to why would you climb that? Okay, uh, that was kind of weird. Whoa! Oh, God's sake! Yeah, the free one in this game is kind of crap, or at least. It gets better through the series, I promise. And once you get into the fluid of it, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game in about a couple of months now, so. Uh, so we're heading there. Use viewpoints to um, get your bearings on a city or a new area. And let's place it what the full one. So you go into a new area, that's the thing you want to go to, otherwise you won't have a clue where your next objective is going to be. Just need to climb to the top, like, like I said, like in last episode. Come all the way. Yeah. Like I said, the uh, free running is kind of broken in this game. It's not great in this game, but it gets a lot better through the series. And um, yeah, so it's not to talk about it. We're just talking, just you know, we're uh, climbing a building. So you just get to top and synchronize. Um, if you're a completionist, then like if you like to get all the civilians, there is an achievement for it, or get all the viewpoints, and that's fine. Viewpoints can be handy. But you only really need one to know where all your objectives are. 
Now you see that little marking, that little um, symbol at the top top corner of the top of the uh, minimap. Sorry, I'm stuttering. Um, that is, I if I remember correctly, let me check the map. Is a civilian needs help? Yes. Uh, like I said, totally optional, and I will not be doing them. So now our objective is to go to the um, finger magic. What's it called? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so terrible. Um, so now we have a choice. We can either go to. Is someone talking to me? No. Let's move where someone's not rambling. Oh, flag! Yay. Um, our first object. We could. We have a choice here. We could either go to the. Get our map off. We can either go to uh, the bureau to uh, get all our permission to um, do the murdering, or we could just start investigating right now. Um, to be honest, I think this is the quick. Since we're right here, let's do the um, investigations first. Well, because you go to the bureau, basically all they say we'll do a quick introduction of the character as the bureau leader. <coughs> Excuse me. And well, that's it. And then it will say, "Oh, you don't have any information." Um, so you don't have any information. Go collect some. Okay, this is another instance of pickpocket. Same deal. We have to just stick up behind him and pickpocket him. Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same men as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. I say, like I said before, this is kind of the boring bit of the game, is doing um, pickpocket these missions because they're kind of tedious. They're not so bad to start off with, but they can get really irritating and really dull. Uh, just so you know, you can get spotted in these missions and you can fail them, but it's not that hard to not fail them, so. Watch his reaction. Oh, I missed it. Lame. Okay, I believe that's the only mission we, need, we can do right now. Yeah. So let's head to the Bureau. Head to the Bureau and register. Climb up this ladder. I say this is waste. Um, the cities is what the free running mechanic is for. You can obviously free run through the city. Have my daggers yet? All right. You notice there's an archer over there. He does not like you being on the roof. So if he spots you, um, it's been in your best interest to um, avoid him or take him out without noticing. Oh, I, I don't care, game. Normally, I'd probably do it, but because this is a let's play and not just me playing for my own pleasure and all that, that sounded really dirty. But <coughs> um, considering this is a let's play, I will not be doing any of those missions because they don't really have anything to do with the story in any way, and they are kind of stupid. Excuse me, sir. Oh shit. Boy, shit, Lord. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so with the archers, if you are on a roof, then they will become aware of you and become suspicious, obviously, because you crawl on the roof. And then if you don't leave or kill them, then they will alert everybody, or at least try to, like, like just like that guy did. But your best bet, really, is to just keep moving and just ignore most of the guards. Yeah, you do kind of feel guilty just running through these cities and not helping anyone. So like I said, I will not be doing those missions because... Well... I say it's just it's a let's play and I think it would be kind of boring to see me do the same mission. Because um, it is the same mission, all you do is save a different citizen and then eventually the um, lines just start, start to repeat. So it's kind of pointless doing it. Okay, we're here. Now, yeah, like that says, the the entrance to the bureau is always on the roof. I believe the design of the bureau is the same no matter where you go. So let's just go in here. 
it's always said the bureau is always on the roof. Also, you cannot access the Assassin's Bureau when you're being chased. Obviously, they don't want you to lead them to their little base, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna cut soon. I'll be quiet. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece, you as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for... I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the soup district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small soup northeast of here, the Madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of the Spiro. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes, come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayer, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the Bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. Yeah, he said basically what I said, um, when you're being, when enemies are in sight, and they're still chasing you, then, well basically when that little thing at the top left corner is red, then he will not actually, I believe it's when he's red, well when you're in sight, you cannot go in the bureau. Okay. Okay, what we need to do now is find a little viewpoint, so we can get another good view of the area. Uh, apparently I was wrong. You know, you can't just use one. Um, so, like I said, viewpoints are candy to, uh, for, um... God, why am I stuttering so much? Me can't talk today. Um... Shit, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, about the viewpoints. Um, they're just... I know I keep reiterating this, but, um... There's not really a lot to say at this point. Because we're just climbing shit now. So as much as I do love this game to bits, you know, it's, I do deserve a special place in my heart and that does sound really gay, but um, it is kind of the worst, it's definitely the worst in the, in the uh, of the four so far. So let's get a good synchronization of the area so we can find our little missions. Let's, let's see. Alright, that should update the map, here we go. Oh, there's a... Uh, Interrogation mission right down here. Recent business had been poor. With this, um, there were none in Jerusalem guy. who wanted what he had fruits and vegetables from nearby farms. Lock onto him, listen to his bollocks. Were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. I'm gonna kill you. You walk past me, mate. I would just stand in there, punching my fist into my hands. Is that what's bothering him? Okay, like I said, we need to. Like I said before, we need to um, follow him to a sec nice, secure location. Um, we don't really have to do this because the guards won't attack you unless you kill them in front of everyone. It um, seems like a nice, secure location. So if, so they won't, guards won't really bother you if you attack him. Excuse me sir, die. Um, but people will help him, thinking you're trying to mug him I guess. You seem to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity, there's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. 
He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salah ad -Din. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. But you told me if I if I let you. But you told me I kill you kill me last. I lied. Wow. Okay. If you wish. Okay. Uh, that basically means that you are allowed to carry on with these investigations if you really want to. But I don't think there's any point. Because now we know if we need to know, we can actually go assassinate him. Um, I believe that uh, as you go on, investigations will take longer and will be more tedious. That's why I don't like them. Okay, this is quite it. Considering that this is the first mission, it kind of makes sense. It's not going to be anything spectacular. So, another cutscene. No, another cutscene. Right. Altair, welcome. Welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Oh, yeah. I should have to take it, don't I? <laughs> Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. I am always ready! Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay, investigation complete. All we need to do now is... Go murder him. Um, I believe the only difference is if you complete all the investigations, then I believe that dialogue scene where he explains all that is the, the guy you're going to murder has done wrong. I believe it's long, a lot longer. I'm not sh Yeah, I, I don't think it's really important. It's just a bit of dialogue. It just explains why you're murdering him. The Templar. Yep, it's Templar. Um, it's just one of the collectibles. You, there's 60 Templars in the area, and you have to kill them all. Well, you don't have to. It's just a side mission. Again, just for completionists. And believe me, I am not one of completionists by any means. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we got Assassinate... What's his name? I don't remember. Um... I'm sure they mentioned it. But, oh crap! No. Ugh. Like I said, the the um, free running is kind of crappy in this game. It's it's look. I I do maintain the uh, sequel is far 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 better and it's a masterpiece of gaming. And screw you if you don't agree. Oh lag! What the fuck was that? You you saw that right? That 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 lagged. What the fuck? Okay. Oops. Wee. Jump. Oh shit! 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 No. Okay. So this is the first assassination. This isn't very difficult to do. However, now I'm kind of stuck on here. That's not good. Cause I can't run during these cutscenes, so I'm kind of stuck up here. There we go. 
This is a cutscene, so I'll be quiet. Your men have failed to build the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I ask in the return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, stop. Eat. Oh. Ah. Eat. You came into my Does that look like it hurt? Stood before my men and dared to insult me. Yeah. That's not pleasant. I mean, I'm not even the one doing it. No. Leave the body. If I was doing it, it'd be hilarious. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. A lesson that you're a douche? Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. I'm pretty sure the lesson is you're a douche. Okay, what we need to do is wait until he goes to the stand of this little market stall. Go away. Oh god, I hate this fucking beggar. But Absolutely pathetic. Where did you learn your Okay, craft? get out of the way, bitch. Bitch, get out of the way, bitch, get out of the way. Go up and go, shank! You just need to sneak sort of two mollies at the market stall. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. I have a hat. Just like my brothers. I'm totally different. Brothers. Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Okay, let's run. Run really fast. Except when that happens. Ow. 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 I wouldn't recommend fighting. I'd recommend running like fuck. Really, really fast. Okay, it's run, 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 fucking run. Run. And run, swing, run. Up here, go. Faster. Go. Faster. Yes, they will stop throwing rocks after a while. And it is incredibly irritating. I can't explain why you guys are fucking chasing me. Chump, damn it! They would need to find somewhere to hide. Alright, no one can see me now. Okay. Now. After you assassinate your target, you will become notorious. That means that if a guard sees you at all, like even if you haven't done anything wrong, he will be immediately suspicious of you. Now, 
So you won't get the yellow light anymore. People will all know who you are. So if you have want to do things, then I suggest you do it before you assassinate your target, or you can come back. So do it then. Okay, what we need to do now is go back to the to the bureau. Yes, we do. So head back to the bureau and tell them of our success. I love this song. I don't know why, but it's so awesome. Okay, head back to the bureau. Woo! Woo! Yeah. I know, game. You don't have to keep telling me that. Cutscene again. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a I've shame got a bloody. Other assassins continue. I've got a bloody feather. Regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay, now we have the option. Oh, no, we don't. All right. This should teleport us straight back to, um, oh, is it gonna? Or is this, this, tele this teleporting us back to, um, Masaya for we coming out the Animus? Oh, we're coming out the Animus. Okay, fair enough. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Okay. I was just itching before you ask. Let's talk to, Lu to Lucy for a while. Is he gone? Yep. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Um. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists. At least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Cryptic bullshit. Oh, and sorry, Halloween, for nicking your line. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English. So expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but you ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Is that an iPad? That's totally an iPad. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? We know we got you got the idea for the iPad then. Assassin's Creed. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't know where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. It's a bad one. I'm sorry, but she has I've one. got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Okay. By the way, I believe that when the door opens, that means you can't talk to her anymore. Alright, she says there's a computer over here, but I don't think I've ever actually seen it. Oh, and before you ask, no, you can't actually run. Which, as you can imagine, sucks donkey balls. So there's a computer over here. I don't see a computer, do you? Do, does anyone know? Is there actually a computer in here where you can see more information? Because I really cannot find it. I've been playing this game for like three years, and I still cannot find it. Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Nope. So basically, sh I'm assuming she's a lying bitch. Okay, let's go. 
Let's go inside. Oh no, they locked the door. Oh my god, I don't care. Let's just go to sleep. Freaky dreams again. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Jesus, Desmond, you sleep like a fucking corpse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who sleeps like that? And why are you fully clothed? Who sleeps fully clothed? On top of the covers. Yeah, there you go. Big question there. Okay. I think that's it for today. We've been going for about half an hour. Yeah, that, that'll be it for today. Let's not get a shot of that. Let's get a shot of this. Let's, let's, there we go. Um, so next time on Let's Play Assassin's Creed, we will get back into Animus and, I don't know, give the news to Al-Mawalim of our success. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.